Okay guys, this is just gonna be a quick video here. I'm gonna make a little jig to do reverse twists on uh, poker handles. And um, here's just a, this is just top of my head. Went to the scrap pile, found this piece of steel. Heavy angle, uh, looks like quarter inch wall, two by two. My vise is, uh, I think it's seven inches, more or less. I'm gonna take that over to the bandsaw and cut it to length.
So that works pretty good. I was just thinking it would be nice to have some ability to vary that width and not have to make three or four of these. So why don't I cut a piece out of the middle and make it two separate halves that I can slide back and forth towards or away from one another in the vise. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to cut a half an inch, no, about an inch out of the middle of this. And that'll allow me to bring it together uh, one inch closer. It's currently three inches, or at least that was my target. Yeah, so three inches was my target distance here between, between the two. Um, I'm a little wider than that, which is to be expected. I ended up with a bit of a radius here. So that, that sort of why it looks a little too wide for my application. It should be, it's about three and three eighths right now because we ended up with a radius at the bottom on each end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out of the middle of this about an inch of material and that'll allow me to close this up to, um, you know, between two inches and then as wide as I, as wide as I like. Um, in the vise, really. Um, but really, this is sort of the right range, I think, in order to get that effect. But there are times when you want that twist closer together, more exaggerated. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the bandsaw and cut a little bit of material out of here. So there we've cut uh, about an inch of material out of the middle. Now I can set that to exactly three inches using a one, two, three block. If you don't have a one, two, three block, you can just use your tape measure. Actually, what we'll do is we'll set this together as close as we can. And on the other end of our test bar, I will uh, bend it with it as close together as can. And then on our actual fire poker, I'll bend it to the desired uh, distance. So there's the tighter setting. You can't hold it too far down the bar, but there it is at the looser setting. I guess we could make another wrench that uh, has the same thickness as these in order to eliminate that flat spot that the adjustable wrench is giving me. Um, alternatively, I could just go with a smaller wrench. That's a pretty big wrench. It's a 12 inch wrench. So we could go with a, with a six or eight inch wrench that has a little bit narrower width here. And then this would, uh, would look a little bit, uh, more fluid, I think. Anyways, I hope you guys like the bending jig. If you want to see more bending jig videos in the future, um, or jigs in general, um, tool and die maker by trade uh, so making up uh, tooling is kind of what I know and um, I don't always come up with the best solution but I do come up with a solution that works usually thanks for tuning in